everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tosin Yoko Olua. I remember that when we were young, I don't know if parents still do that today, I see things changing and it seems uh, a lot of parents are, you know, young, uh, new generation mothers and parents generally, I guess things are changing and people are trying to train their children better. But sometimes in the 80s that I was growing, well, uh, most parents, when they are trying to deal with you, uh, they can ask you to put your two hands behind you and you'll be like, you have to put your head down, you have to bow your head, you have to, you know, show them some kind of respect when they are trying to maybe correct you for something. Most of the time, they don't even try to listen to what you have to say. So they just go ahead, say their own, and be help. Now, I will say that it's their understanding, and to them, that is love. And I want to tell you that this have affected and damaged a lot of children's ego. You know, you're coming from outside, you're beating your child outside, you're beating your child in the presence of the, of the neighbors, you are beating your child in the presence of the people around, I mean, you are damaging, damaging the child's ego because the way you treat your child is the way an outsider will help you treat the child. So if you keep insulting and abusing your child, it's always easier for an outsider to abuse your child as well. Whatever you say or whatever you do is telling other people how to treat you and how to treat your own child. So this will really affect the self-esteem of your children. I know a lot of parents, a lot of, um, you know, carers, uh, a lot of people who have children in their care, generally, they might not understand the effect of this, but let me tell you something. At a point, you see people walk up into interview rooms, have been privileged to, intern with an HR firm where we run and run interview virtually every day and I see people walked into you know the interview room shoulder down jaw down and you know obviously it is written all over them they lack self-confidence and sometimes even when you don't know how to do some things when you show up with a, a level of confidence and you are able to articulate whatever you think you can do to probably be considered for positions and even in organizations you don't show up with your proposal you know without a level of confidence and that will really tell the people who are trying to give you the contract that will tell a lot about you and that way you might actually lose the contract so this year I want uh, parents to change and this is the first part of the video I want parents to start dealing with their children correctly. I want parents to start, you know, saying proper things to their children. We have seen children who were not, who were actually average, but as a result of the way their parents talked to them, they were able to rise to top positions in life. I remember I had a special baby and this girl, when she was much you know she's still young but she when she was very small uh she always asked her daddy she say daddy daddy i'm beautiful then my husband would say yes you are beautiful and she asked me so many questions she just need an affirmation and without her even asking me now i tell her how beautiful she is how wonderful she is how she's the best how her hand cannot stop her how she's gonna be a great child so for us saying these things we are developing strength into the children we are developing power into the children and that's way they will also go out and shine i remember there was a time I was speaking to my son that I don't like this jeans. She, she he, he have he, he has this attitude of when he loves the clothes. I do I do that too. If I love a shoe, I'm gonna deal with that shoe until I'm not able to wear it again. So 
this guy always loved this. Like when he loves something, he's gonna wear that thing till, till that thing start crying. So there's this jeans that he really love, and I told him, I said, look. It's time for you to stop wearing these jeans and he was like i said people people will you know unconsciously that people will make fun of you if you keep wearing these jeans and he said they don't make fun of me now do i care you know i i actually think about that thing i mean on one hand do, do you really need to care about what people think about you now that's not where i'm going that shows me a level of confidence a level of you know self-assurance a level of self-worth knowing that that jeans is not what made me you know i have more in me that shows how great i am how powerful i am so in the next video because i don't want this video to be extremely long so in the next video i'm going to be discussing seven basic elements of self-esteem that will help you to be the best of you this season and get the best out of this season thank you very much and i'll meet you in the next video bye for now